Hi guys, it's Pete from uh, Champion Hero Automation again, here with another video. This time we're going to uh, demonstrate how we fit our two gang light switch, smart light switch. Uh, basically we've got the uh, little setup here, which is the uh, same as you find in your houses. So we've got a two gang normal switch and uh, two light bulbs in the holders. So switch on one, just that way. Uh, obviously before we start doing any work on this, we'll uh, switch the power off. So uh, if I do that now... Uh, we're going with uh, removing this switch and fitting our uh, touch wall switch and uh, showing you how uh, it works in the, with the two gang. Let's start with this, we uh, just need to remove this switch so just basically uh, undo the two screws. Right, so with the two screws out, obviously with the power off, we now need to uh, just remove all the wiring. Basically uh, just note which side, which wires, pair of wires come from. So we just undo these terminals as well. Pull those wires out. Same with the other wires. Pull them out. All right. Now we can uh, get our uh, new smart touch light switch out of the box. Very nice. Okay, right, now you've got your uh, old switch out of the way, so just getting a, a bit of tape. Now, you need to work out which one you're going to put your capacitor, which uh, ceiling rose you're going to put your capacitor in. I'm going to put in this one here, so it would be this wire here, so I know it's those two wires. But uh, if you would want to fit in that one, which would be no problem, you can you know, use those two wires. But uh, So I don't need the blue wire, which is the the power coming from the ceiling rows to the switch. So I just tape that one up, nice and safe. Let's put them all around it just to double check. Bend it over. There we go. So we safely stowed, push them down into the bottom. Right now we can fit the wires so that this blue wire here is all your your permanent live coming from your ceiling rows will go into the L terminal. So we we'll put that one in straight in there. So you see the L terminals there, uh, L1 and the L3. So that'll be permanent live. Your uh, first ceiling rows, which the capacitor has got to be in, will connect to that one, and then the other one that has no capacitor will just connect into the L3. Let's screw those terminals in. Remember, we always uh, do these terminals nice and tight. You don't want uh, any uh, problems with them being loose and arcing or anything like that. So, it's tight. And then, so I'm going to put that one in there. The fitment of these is very similar to the um, L1. In fact, you've just got this. Uh, so that is exactly the same as now one, we just got this extra wire then, which goes to the other one. Right, now you've got your terminals done up nice and tight. Show them in the back, get the screwdriver in the end. Put the front cover off. Press it down in. Careful not to uh, snag the wires, but you can then put your screws in to hold your uh, switch in place. And right, now you've got your light switch fitted nice and square. Okay. Simply clip the cover back on, two uh, little barbs in there, go in first, press it down, switch is finished. Now we need to go to the ceiling rows which you're going to fit the capacitor in, I've chosen this one. Just undo the top, slide it back. So uh, I'm just going to fit it, so basically it's going to be wired across the same, across the light. So I'm going to put in the two end terminals. Um, if you were going to wire in to more lights, as in you were running more lights, not necessarily off a ceiling rose, perhaps off a junction box, uh, you'd just fit this in parallel. So basically it's got to be connected between the wire 
that's coming back from the switch which is connected to your L1 terminal and it's the other wire has got to go into your neutral so that's what you need to do I should do that now Okay, uh, now we've got the capacitor fitted into the uh, sealing rose up here. You can try and uh, push it down. Make sure it doesn't. Um, there's a little gap in there. Make sure it doesn't pull out when you put this cover on. Obviously, it needs to be connected. So that capacitor is there to make the light switch work. It's got nothing to do with the. Uh, the bulb you're fitting, so uh, please make sure you do fit it. Uh, now if we turn the power back on, right now we've got the power back on, it, again we shall uh, test it manually, so we just uh, press the first button, there we go, that one's working fine, I'll switch it off again, and press the second one, that one's working fine as well. So uh, there we go. Now we'll uh, connect it to the Smart Life app, so to do this uh, you need to press and hold one of these for uh, five seconds. If we press plus, add a device, um, auto scan. Okay, so it's found it there, the two gang. So we click next. The device is added successfully, a two gang. Done. So here we are in the app. Uh, if we press this button here, switch one on, there we go. Number one's come on, switch it off again. Switch number two on, number two comes on. So that works fine within the app. Uh, now you just need to uh, connect it to uh, Alexa for voice activation. Okay, now to connect it to Alexa, we press the uh, app button and then we go into devices and then we just add a device at the top corner there, add a device, uh, switch, uh, we just go straight on to other, discover devices. This may take a little while. Okay, magic of uh, video editing, uh, we've discovered the switch. So uh, now we can just uh, click the setup device. We can add it to a group within the app. Um, I'm going to put it into the living room, my favourite, because that's where I do most of my uh, work. Add to group. It's been added to the living room. It's ready to use. So to control it, basically we tell Alexa to turn on to gang. Right, okay, I've uh, renamed the gang, so uh, the first gang is switch A, and the second gang is switch B. So now if I say to Alexa, switch on switch A. Alexa, switch off switch A. Alexa, switch on switch B. Alexa, switch off switch B. There we go, so now that's working fine. Hi guys, hope you've uh, found this video helpful. Uh, if you would like to purchase some, we'll put the link in the description below. Um, that's uh, all we uh, need to show you now on these switches. I hope you have fun with uh, using these devices. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see some more.